Hello, I'm Chris Quizzett. This is the Morning Walk, and we are in Ahoski, North Carolina. Here's the Ahoski Town Hall. Looks like it used to be an old post office. This is right here on the corner of Main Street and Mitchell Street. Uh, let me check out this mural up here, which is a very nice painting inside the structure right here. Oski, North Carolina, 1893. The old Farmer's Atlantic Bank. That's a beautiful building. Right next to the Gallery Theater. And this is right in front of Mugshots Cafe and Tr Quick Tricker Brewing Company. So it's a nice little stretch right here of things to do. Uh, nothing to do in that bank, but it could be one day. But that gallery theater and, and the brewery right here. That's that's very cool. And that's about the old bank building, the Bank of a Husky. It's not a good looking building. And right down the road from that. This is dedicated to veter veterans who serve this beautiful country of the United States. Our names. This is amazing. Amazing park and dedication. This is one of the best ones I've seen. As of yet, as far as doing these here videos, this is a beautiful, nice size park a bunch of different monuments memorials benches so it really really is a nice dedication everywhere you look get the names of people I'm assuming are from this area. And it tells everything they did. This is, like I said, probably the best dedication that I've seen since I've started doing this. I really like this park. This is nice. Down a little further, and we see this old train right here. I'm not sure the story of this train, this locomotive engine. It's got Arizona, California on the side, so it's just got a North Carolina, Virginia, I guess that's a license, but, uh, but Arizona, California, so this is a West Coast locomotive, 
And this one up here has Virginia, North Carolina on it. So, another old motor. There's some old stuff in a plaque. Let's read what this says. Site of the original depot of the Atlantic coastline. So this where Husky began. That's what these vultures are up to. We have this cool old train. And a whole slew of vultures that are eating something. I don't know what. But yeah, that's a that's an interesting piece of equipment as well. It's almost nine o'clock, so people are beginning to make their way to work. This is a Saturday morning. Oh, not the Jimmy Gang 2X for life. Oh man, I'm in a hard area. <laughs> not the Jimmy Gang. Well, I hold. I wonder if Jimmy's the asshole that broke this window. I don't know. Possibly. We'll just walk back to here slowly because ain't nobody scared of Jimmy. Quentin's Restaurant and Lounge. So that'll give you Another spot to eat if you are traveling through a husky or coming to a husky. Husky's not too far from Murfreesboro, so if you're a student of Chawan or if you just happen to live in Murfreesboro, like I said, there's Quick Trigger and then there's Quentin's and Domino's. Is this a candy store? They open at 10. I'm gonna try that out. It's the kind of candy we can get a hold of. There's a painting that used to be on the side of that. Maybe one day they'll put it back. Because if you follow my videos, you know I'm into things like that. 2X. Uh oh. Jimmy's been on this street as well. That Jimmy, he's something else. This looks like a forgotten street of a husky. However, this old southern architecture from rural areas. It's still pretty cool looking. Gets. So we have made it to the other side of the Arizona California train. As this is in memory of Blackout. He must have been a part of the Jimmy Gang, one of the eight town soldiers. This 2X marks the building, as we know. Jimmy has come through here with his window breaking. Like I imagine Ernest T. Bass from the Andy Griffith Show being the one breaking these windows. Like I said, I imagine Jimmy is. Jimmy is Ernest T. Bass. We got us a wild one on our hands. A pole has come down right there by this 2X. Thankfully, it didn't hit Jimmy. And Jimmy's okay. 
I mean, if Jimmy wasn't all gay, who would do the artwork on the side of these buildings? But on a serious note, you know, it would be nice to come through here and paint over Jimmy's, you know, bullshit. Because, you know, a small town like this doesn't need graffiti like that. You know, it's not a some big urban gang area, you know. It may be a couple of people in the Jimmy gang that think there's something, but you know what? You're not. <laughs> so, have a seat, Jimmy. And the town of Ahoski needs to stand up and do away with the graffiti. Drugs, wines, liquor. Allowed on property. I don't know if no was ever painted there or not, but it'd be pretty funny if it wasn't. But all jokes aside, this is a this is a pretty cool section of town with the buildings. Uh, the way they are. Like I said, without Jimmy running around painting on everything. There is hope for this section of town. No one under 25 allowed on premises. And no troublemakers. That means you, Jimmy. And your gang. Not allowed here. There's a water bowl and some dog food. I guess left with the stray dogs that come to this area. That's pretty cool. Shows a side of caring here in a husky. And this building here, the Jernigan Sons. Journey on building, building 1945. Looks to be a storage shed for the gas station now. Pretty cool architecture there. This is interesting right here. This is a one way street. On this side and then another one on that side. The railroad track directly in the center. This is where the California Arizona train is. This is just on the other side of Main Street. Here at Main and Railroad. Which I'm assuming this, would you consider this the main intersection in town? I'm not sure. Uh, Architecture-wise, looks like it. The train comes through here. Uh, many old towns are built on the train, so I would say if it's not now, it was at one time. Yep. For the most part, you've seen this, but the road is a little different on this side. So I figured we'd check that out. It's a bank trap. Is that real? Road tracks, that's pretty cool. And there is a fallout shelter. And I got the old post office. Built in 1940. Oh, post box is probably where you put your water bills and Stuff like that. Oh yeah. This is a interesting building and that was I was walking by. Somebody was playing. Okay. This building, the Works Project, or Work Projects Administration, it was back when they were prolonging the recession. That's a cool little water shop. I've always liked those type of buildings. 
Yeah, I thought this might have been a, a fire department, but I'm not sure what it is. I mean, people need to help, and they wrote their bloody handprints all over the building. I guess, I don't know, maybe Jamie's gang got a hold of them. That Jimmy and his gang. I tell you. But yeah. This is, um, it's a shame. Probably get people in here working, and then two X came in and gassed the whole stone. Sad day for a husky. And just outside of downtown is. This is where you would probably come in at if you were coming 258. You would come to here, which is actually Highway 11, I believe. Um, then you got these different social clubs, and this here appears to be an old high school that's been converted into apartments. This is a pretty cool looking, cool looking building. If um, I lived in a husky, I would have to say that that would be my first choice. Those old school apartments, because I'm assuming they're probably lost. I don't know. I've never been in them. And they're in a rec center. Right there next to it. Okay. Rage Club. So this is the first. The yeah, high school, high school apartments. That's cool looking. I really do like that. And this is a little bit outside of a high school. Uh, it's still in the city limits, I do believe. Must be an old school building. There's a couple of them here. That building right there is some community center, so that's still in use, but this here is not. There's a big dash and the roof on the back side of it. You can see if you're riding down the road, but take a look at it. It's a pretty cool building. Like I said, that one's restored right there, so it's possible that these can be restored as well. Cool old building. It's starting to get busy. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm focused on this. I don't know if anything's back here or not. Check it out. And the pavement is giving, giving way. Uh, quite a few sections. Uh, a lot of sinkholes back here. Uh, so if the ground's not safe, I'm pretty sure the building is far from safe as well. I think we're going to take a look and see. What else do here? I didn't see no, no trespassing signs, so I guess it's okay to walk. <clears throat> Back side of these buildings, that's where the roof is folded over. Trees going through the chimney. As you can see, nature has taken back over. Sad. 
also very cool in the same same way the Atlantic District Fair Association is 80 years established in the Stein Church it's 100 years now and looks to be a horse track but I can't find any way to get in here In here. Right, let's see if we can zoom in. The side of the grandstands. And a cool looking sight that you can't see. And this is right outside. The old school buildings. Looks like to be Rosenwald schools. But that's about it. Well, that was a husky. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And check out some more videos that I'll be doing. Uh, small towns, big cities, and, well, everywhere. So thank you and have a good day.